students welcome to Life Science Academy online lectures. In our genetics class we are going to discuss about Mendelian genetics. In previous class we have discussed about the basic concepts of genetics and in this class we will be focusing on the genetic crosses done by Gregor Johann Mendel who is called the father of genetics and his famous experiments done in Garden P the Pisum sativa. And also we will be focusing on the fundamental principles of genetics which are proposed by Mendel that is the principle of segregation the principle of independent assortment and finally we look into the concept of dominance which Mendel derived based on these pretty experiments next what is a genetic cross before discussing this topic let us look into what is a cross or cross fertilization refers to in nature Cross or cross fertilization refers to the fusion of male and female gametes from different individuals. Whereas in genetic cross, we are deliberately breeding two different individuals to produce offsprings with combination of parental genetic material. Then why we are conducting genetic cross? Genetic cross are done to study the heredity and inheritance patterns of genes by analyzing the phenotypes of parent and offspring. What is a monohybrid cross? Monohybrid cross is a cross between two individuals that differ in a single character. For example, for a character like seed color which is a single character, there can be green and yellow individuals. And the cross between these green and yellow individuals which are different forms of a single character is called monohybrid cross. And in monohybrid cross, the individuals involved can be heterozygous or pure breeding homozygous in nature. The cross capital A capital A cross small a small a or the cross capital A small a cross capital A small a, both these crosses are considered to be monohybrid cross. In short, the monohybrid cross can be the cross between homozygous pure breeding individuals or heterozygous individuals which differ in a single character. What is a dihybrid cross? A dihybrid cross is a cross between two individuals that differ in two characters. For example, we are considering two characters seed color and seed shape. And we are crossing individuals which differ in these two characters. Look into this picture shown here. Here we are crossing individuals with yellow round phenotype with green wrinkled phenotype. The cross between yellow round and green wrinkled phenotype which differ for two characters like seed color and seed shape is referred as dihybrid cross. Dihybrid cross like the monohybrid cross involves cross between individuals which are homozygous at the two loci. That is, capital Y, capital Y, capital R, capital R cross with small y, small y, small r, small r or Dihybrid cross involves cross between individuals which are heterozygous at two loci. That is, Capital Y, small y, capital R, small r cross with capital Y, small y, capital R, small r. What is a trihybrid cross? A trihybrid cross is a cross between two individuals that differ in three characters, and the individual must be homozygous at the three loci or heterozygous at the three loci. Likewise, in a tetrahybrid cross, we are considering four characters. And if we are considering five characters, it is referred as pentahybrid cross. And if the cross involves many characters, it is termed as polyhybrid cross. What is a test cross and a back cross? When two individuals with an unknown genotype, which is usually expressed as a dominant phenotype, is crossed with a homozygous recessive individual, it is referred as a test cross. And this homozygous recessive individual is one of the parental type. We are crossing an unknown genotype with one of the parental type which is homozygous recessive individual. So it is also referred as a back cross. Then why we are conducting this test crosses? This test cross is conducted to determine 
the unknown genotype and how we can determine the genotype of this individual. From the crows, if all offspring produced are dominant, the unknown genotype is homozygous dominant in nature and if we get a 1 is to 1 ratio of dominant to recessive from the crosses, the unknown genotype is heterozygous in nature. What is a reciprocal cross? A reciprocal cross is a set of crosses or two separate crosses in which phenotype of male and female are reversed. Look into the example shown here. In the first case or in the first cross, we are crossing a male with yellow phenotype with female with green phenotype. In the second cross, we are reversing or we are taking the reciprocal of the phenotype. We are crossing a male with green phenotype with female with yellow phenotype. And these crosses are used to determine whether a trait is autosomal or sex linked. If the trait is an autosomal trait that will produce same result from both crosses. For a sex linked trait, reciprocal crosses produce different result. Look into the example shown here. When we cross a red-eyed female with a white-eyed male, the offsprings in the F1 generation will produce red phenotype. That is, all the offsprings in the F1 are in red eye color. And when we take the opposite, that is, the reciprocal of the cross, that is, when we cross a white-eyed female with a red-eyed male, the F1 will be in 1 is to 1 ratio, that is, 1 red is to 1 white ratio. And here, F2 also gives different result. From first crows in F2 generation, there are three red and one white offspring. Whereas, in second crows, that is when we take reciprocal crosses, there are two red individual and two white individual in F2 generation. Which reveals that, if we get different result from reciprocal crosses, then the trait is a sex-linked trait. What are PF1 and F2 generation? The pure breeding parental generations are called P generation. These parents are pure breeding because they are homozygous for that trait. Look into the example shown here. P generation individuals are homozygous for the purple flowers and also they are homozygous for the white flowers too. Next, what is F1 generation? These are the offsprings from the P generation, that is, when we cross two pure breeding individuals, we obtain the first generation, and this first generation is referred as F1 generation. Next, what is F2 generation? Offsprings that result from the F1 individuals are called F2 generation or second filial generation. Next, let's move to Mendel's monohybrid crosses. What is actually Mendel's monohybrid crosses referred to? Look into the picture shown here. In Mendel's monohybrid crosses, Mendel crossed an yellow phenotypic individual with green phenotype. And the yellow phenotype individual is having the genotype capital Y capital Y. Whereas, green phenotype individual is having the genotype small y small y. The yellow phenotype individual produces a gamut that is capital Y. And green phenotype individual produces a gamete that is small y. These gametes fuse to form the F1 generation, that is, the capital Y small y gametes fuse to form the F1 generation, in which the allelic composition is represented as capital Y small y. All individuals in F1 generation are phenotypically yellow in color. And then, Mendel crossed F1 individuals. He then got F2 progenitors. During the crows, F1 individuals produces two types of gametes, that is, capital Y and small y. And in the F2 generation, Mendel got three individuals with yellow phenotype and one individual with green phenotype. And the genotypic ratio of the F2 generation is represented as 1 is to 2 is to 1. That is, one individual is having capital Y, capital Y genotype, two individuals are having capital Y, small y genotype, and one individual is having small y, small y genotype. That is, the genotypic ratio of a monohybrid cruise is represented as 1 is to 2 is to 1. And the phenotypic ratio is represented as 3 is to 1. Next, what actually Mendel's monohybrid crosses reveal? Mendel concluded that F1 can display the phenotype of only one parent. From the previous crosses, we see that 
the F1 plant displays the phenotype of only one parent. And the F1 plants inherited the genetic factors from both parents, then only they can transmit the genetic factors to F2 generation. So, Mendel concluded that each trait must contain two genetic factors in a diploid organism. And he made another conclusion that the two allele separates when gametes are formed and one allele goes into each gamete. And the concept of dominance says that the traits appear unchanged in F1 heterozygotes are called the dominant trait and which are absent in F1 heterozygote and reappear in F2 are called the recessive trait. From previous crosses we see that the yellow color which is produced in F1 heterozygotes and green which is absent in F1 and which reappear in F2 is called the recessive trait. From monohybrid crosses, Mendel proposed principle of segregation and concept of dominance. The two principles that Mendel proposed are principle of segregation and principle of independent assortment. And the concept of dominance is not considered to be a principle, but is a concept derived by Mendel from his breeding experiments. What is principle of segregation? Principle of segregation states that each diploid organism possesses two alleles for any particular character and these two alleles separate or segregate when gametes are formed. That is, these two alleles get separated during gamete formation and one allele go into each gamete in equal proportions. What is concept of dominance? Concept of dominance states that when two different alleles are present in a genotype, only the trait encoded by one of them, that is the dominant allele, is observed in the phenotype. Next, let's look into Mendel's dihybrid crosses. We already discussed that dihybrid cross is a cross between two individuals which differ in two characters. In Mendel's dihybrid crosses, Mendel crossed a homozygous yellow round phenotypic individual with green wrinkled phenotype. And in the F1 generation, all the offsprings produced are yellow round. And in F2 generation, he got 9 yellow round is to 3 green round is to 3 yellow wrinkled is to 1 green wrinkled. Which means he got the phenotypic ratio of a dihybrid cruise as 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1. Whereas the genotypic ratio as 1 is to 2 is to 1 is to 2 is to 4 is to 2 is to 1 is to 2 is to 1. What Mendel concluded from dihybrid crosses? Dihybrid crosses extend Mendel's principle of segregation to more complex crosses that include allele at multiple loci, which then give rise to an additional principle that is the principle of independent assortment, which is Mendel's second law. This law states that alleles at different loci separate independently of one another. A common mistake is to think that the principle of segregation and the principle of independent assortment refer to two different processes. The principle of independent assortment is really an extension of the principle of segregation. The principle of segregation states that the two alleles of a locker separate when gametes are formed, whereas the principle of independent assortment states that when these two alleles separate, their separation is independent of the separation of alleles at other loci. In independent assortment, we are considering two locus and we look into how alleles at these locus get separated during gamete formation. The genes on different chromosomes behave independently, that is, the genes for Seed shape and seed color which are present on different chromosomes behave independently during the production of gametes. For example, when F2 plants are produced, the alleles can separate in two ways. From previous example, let us look how the alleles get separated in two ways. At first, the capital R separates with capital Y and small r separates with small y to produce gametes capital R, capital Y and small r, small y. Secondly, capital R separates with small y and small r separates with capital Y to produce gametes capital R, small y and small r, capital Y.
The principle of independent assortment tell us that the alleles at each locker separate independently. Thus, both kinds of separation takes place equally and all four types of gametes that is capital R capital Y, small r small y, capital R small y and small r capital Y are produced in equal proportion. An initiative from Life Science Academy online classes. Thank you. For any clarification, please contact us through mail or call us in the following number 9072762286 or 9207350530. An initiative from LSA Online Classes. Thank you.